What's up guys, David here, and if you're in the market for a big phone, more than likely either the Galaxy Note 8s or the iPhone 8 Plus has crossed your mind. And unlike in the past, both of these phones are actually using an all glass design. Samsung has been using all glass designs for a while now, and they've made a number of durability improvements over the years. But for Apple, like this is the first time they've had an all glass phone since 2011. Yet they're claiming that the iPhone 8 Plus is using the strongest glass to ever be used in a smartphone, which you know, really only means one thing. It's time for a phone buff style drop test. But before we get into it, I wanna thank Tech21 for sponsoring today's episode. So when Tech21 sent us their Evo check case for the iPhone 8 Plus, they asked us to do what we do best and put it to the test. And when we did, the case handled the back, corner, and face drops like it was nothing. Tech21 protects drop after drop, with the iPhone 8 Plus we tested still being in perfect condition. This is thanks to a scientifically proven material with a three layer protection system that spreads out and absorbs the impact energy, preventing it from passing on to your device. The Evo check case is available for both the iPhone 8 Plus and the Galaxy Note 8 in a number of different colors. So click on that first link down below in the description and get your phone the protection it deserves. All right, let's get to the drop test. Round number one, backdrop. In three, two, one. All right, so the good news is that both phones remain fully functional after that backdrop, but the bad news is both of them have their back glass shattered. The iPhone 8 Plus looks like it has more spider webbing overall on the back, but the Note 8's damage actually looks a lot more severe up at the top right of the phone, so really not the best results from either device. Round number two, corner drop. In three, two, one. After that corner drop, both phones get some scuff marks on their aluminum bands. The damage really isn't actually all that bad, but it does look like the scuffs on the Note 8s are slightly deeper than the ones on the iPhone, giving the iPhone the slight advantage in round number two. Round number three, face drop. And three, two, one. Okay, so while the face drop cracks the glass on both phones, it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be, especially on the Galaxy Note 8, where most of its damage is contained to the corners. This is most likely thanks to the curved edges on the phone, and it's a great result because most of the actual touchscreen remains unaffected, meaning you could probably use it without cutting yourself, at least not as bad as you would on the iPhone, where a good chunk of the top right of the display has some spider rubbing, so easy win for the Note 8 in round number three. Bonus round. Okay, so with both phones still being technically usable, we entered the bonus round, where we drop each phone directly onto steel from much higher up, which should put the shock and impact resistance of each phone to the test. Up first is the Galaxy Note 8. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and uh, still working, go. Okay, like there's no way. Nope, we are still rocking. And three, two, one. Oh, I see glass like flying every time it falls. All right, now we got some serious shattering going all the way across. And drop. Okay, I think this one actually killed it because when it hit the platform, like I saw light kind of dispersed around. Nope. Still working. All right, last drop. Can it survive all 10? Three, two, one. And, oops, I turned it off, but <laughs> it's working. All right, survived all 10 drops. All right, so the Note 8 technically survives all 10 drops. The screen is still responsive and still fully functional. However, this is definitely not something that you'd wanna use on a daily basis. The glass on the back of the phone suffered arguably more damage than the glass on the front, with all the impact from the high level drop spreading that pre-existing damage. In terms of functionality, after doing our 10 point inspection, everything on the Note 8 still works, save for the camera in the flash, which no matter how many times we try to open it or restart it, it just wouldn't work. So disappointing results, and let's see if the iPhone 8 Plus can do any better. Three, 
two, one. Perfect drop. What's the result? I'm uh, still working. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. All right. So literally a chunk, a chunk of glass fell out. This is crazy. I've never seen that before. Wow. Super shattered screen, but it's still working. Oh my God, this is brutal. Go ahead. Three, two, one. Okay, glass almost hit me, hit my face. That is crazy. This is getting dangerous. Oh no, no. Ah, oh. it's, I think it's dead. This is dead. I don't care if it's responding. Nah, it's not even responding. All right, I mean, it kind of responds, but then it like freaks out. So I'm gonna have to throw in the towel guys. This one's done. So unfortunately the iPhone 8 plus doesn't make it all the way through the bonus round like the Note 8s did with it literally falling apart with chunks missing from the back. And uh, the screen is completely unusable at this point with a major portion of the LCD being blacked out. Now I've seen this happen on phones before and typically once it gets to this point, it's only a matter of time before the damage spreads all the way through the phone and it completely gives out. And as if that wasn't bad enough, just like with the Note 8, the camera on the iPhone 8 Plus doesn't work. But to its credit, it at least launches the camera app where the Note 8 didn't even let us do that. Okay, so with all the rounds complete, let's take a look at the scorecard, where in the first round, the iPhone just barely squeaks past the Note 8. It also got the upper hand in the second round, but in the third round, the Note 8 made a comeback in a major way and finished off the iPhone in the fourth, making it the winner here in this drop test. Anyways, that is it for me in this video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.